Today, the community will get a chance to hear from our youth organizers about their ideas to make Portland a more empowered and safe place for youth. Youth in different parts of the city feel strongly about issues that are important to them. This makes us individuals with unique views. Can I have Alex Horsey come up to accept the first award? So Project Believe in Me is a completely youth-led anti-bullying initiative and we take letters from survivors of bullying and put them on our website as a way to inspire and encourage uh, struggling youth. So I'm Nick and this is Lily and we're from Oregon Partnership Lines for Life's Youth Advisory Council and our purpose is to uh, um, bring youth voice and action to ending the challenges of substance abuse and suicide. Through our work we can help students <coughs> rise above their negative influences and embrace their positive influences. Through this event, we're hoping to reach out to the youth communities in the city of Portland and actually bring them a positive message of hope. And having these teen nights would um, show the need for that teen center that we want. Our project is called the Egalitarianism Campaign, and our goal is to obliterate stereotypes of different races. Getting youth to think for themselves rather than following social constructions is a big step in eliminating stereotypes. I've always felt pretty comfortable being openly queer in my community, but I've heard many stories and I've known many people that have don't feel safe being open about themselves in their community. Our motive is to create local safe spaces for queer and trans youth in East Portland where there hasn't been any in the past. We are going to use our youth action grant to put on a soccer tournament this spring. We are excited to plan out our soccer tournament, meet new kids from other schools and have fun in our community. Thank you. Our school is a very diverse campus, and so a lot of things get addressed, such as like race and culture and heritage, but orientation is often just in the background, and we just really want to you know, pinpoint the consequences and the things you can do when discrimination and bullying happens. And so we want to raise awareness not only about our stereotypes and who we actually are, but about the amazing opportunities that these programs can have for children and the amazing people who work for them, and so we're going to so the documentary, mockumentary, we don't want to do something kind of fun with it. Uh, basically, what we're using this money for is our spring break camp starting next week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 11 to 4. Uh, just giving a chance for everyone to like get to know each other. We do a lot of outreach. Just get to come back and have fun, have a chill camp day. And yeah, pretty much. We are one of the best places to live in the United States, but we haven't even begun to scratch the surface of our potential. And you, those of you that are under the age of 21 and folks that support you, it's going to be imperative that you stay involved. Imagine that, that everyone were to be as engaged as you are in this room right now. What a community we would build. Congratulations to all our grantees for coming and making Portland a more safer and more welcoming place for everybody with your proposals.